Welcome to the 2022 NAI Baseball Championship Selection Show. I'm Brad Sagan, Director of Athletics Communications, and we are here at the NAI headquarters in downtown Kansas City. In just a few moments, we will reveal all the qualifiers for the 65th Annual NAI Baseball National Championship, beginning with opening round play on May 16 at 10 sites around the nation. 46 teams will enter opening round play, and the winners of those 10 sites will advance to the Avista NAI Baseball World Series in Lewiston, Idaho, beginning on May 27th. The march to the NAI national title begins now. There are two primary ways that a team can qualify for the national championship opening round field, by receiving either an automatic bid or an at-large bid into the tournament. The number of teams in each league determines the number of automatic bids in each conference. Leagues with 10 or more schools receive two automatic berths, while conferences with less than 10 institutions receive one. Automatic bids are determined by each conference and can include conference regular season champions, regular season runners-up, tournament champions, or tournament runners-up depending on the league. The remaining at-large berths are selected by the NAI Baseball Postseason Selection Committee, comprised of NAI head coaches and administrators from around the country. Now, let's take a look at the opening round brackets. Let's start with the Bellevue bracket in Bellevue, Nebraska, and the number four seeded Bulldogs of Concordia. The Bulldogs were the champions of the GPAC tournament with an overall record of 36-15-1. They will face the number five seeded Eagles of Judson. The Eagles were the runners up in the Chicagoland tournament. The number two seed are the Eagles of Central Methodist. The Eagles snagged an automatic berth as the champions of the Heart of America tournament with an overall record of 42 and 13. They will face the number three seeded Blue Jays of Tabor. The Blue Jays earned an at-large berth out of the KCAC with an overall record of 37, 17 and one. The number one seed in the Bellevue bracket are the Bruins of Bellevue. The Bruins earned their spot as the tournament champions of the North Star with an overall record of 45 and 10. Moving to the Kingsport bracket, the number four seed are the Cougars of Mount Vernon Nazarene. The Cougars were the champions of the Crossroads League regular season with an overall record of 37 and 17. They will face the Crusaders of Madonna. The Crusaders were the tournament runners up in the Wolverine Hoosier. The number two seed are the Royals of Warner. The Royals earned an at-large berth out of the Sun Conference with an overall record of 40 and 16. They will take on the number three seeded Patriots of the University of the Cumberlands. The Patriots snagged an automatic berth as the champions of the Mid-South Tournament with an overall record of 43 and 14. The number one seed in Kingsport are the Bulldogs of Tennessee Wesleyan. The Bulldogs were the tournament champions in the Appalachian with an overall record of 51 and five. Heading over to the Lawrenceville bracket, the number two seed are the Grizzlies of Georgia Gwinnett. The defending national champs were the champions of the Continental Tournament with an overall record of 42 and 14. They will face the number three seeded Crusaders of William Carey. The Crusaders were the champions of the Southern States with an overall record of 37 and 15. The number one seed in Lawrenceville are the Royals of Hope International. The Royals were the champions of the Golden State Tournament with an overall record of 41 and 13. They will match up against the number four seeded Pioneers of Point Park. The Pioneers earned an at-large berth with an overall record of 37 and 14. Moving to the Lewiston bracket in Lewiston, Idaho, the number four seed are the Thunderbirds of the University of British Columbia. The Thunderbirds were the runners-up in the Cascade Tournament. They will take on the number five-seeded Firebirds of St. Catherine. The Firebirds were the runners-up in the Calpac Tournament with an overall record of 31-21. The number two seed are the Lions of Vanguard. The Lions earned an at-large berth with an overall record of 43-13. They will battle the number three-seeded Tigers of Doan. The Tigers were the champions of the GPAC regular season with an overall record of 37 and 12. The number one seed in Lewiston are the Warriors of Lewis Clark State. The Warriors own the host berth as the hosts of the Avista NAI World Series and were the champions of the Cascade Tournament. They enter play with an overall record of 51 and four. 
Taking a look at the Miami Gardens bracket in Miami Gardens, Florida, the number two seed are the Bulldogs of McPherson. The Bulldogs earned an at-large berth with an overall record of 39 and 12. They will face the number three seeded Warriors of Weber International. The Warriors also earned an at-large berth with an overall record of 38 and 19. The number one seed in Miami Gardens are the Bobcats of St. Thomas. The Bobcats earned an at-large berth with an overall record of 38 and 17. They will face the number four seeded Knights of Middle Georgia State. The Knights also snagged an at-large berth with an overall record of 30, 19 and one. When we come back, we'll take a look at the second half of the opening round brackets right after this. Welcome back. Let's move to the Montgomery bracket in Montgomery, Alabama, and the number two seeded Eagles of Faulkner. The Eagles grabbed an at-large berth with an overall record of 34 and 15. They will face the number three seeded Seahawks of Kaiser. The Seahawks also earned an at-large berth with an overall record of 35 and 20. The number one seed are the Braves of Ottawa. The Braves were the champions of the KCAC regular season with an overall record of 42 and eight. They will face the number four seeded Eagles of Reinhardt. The Eagles snagged an at-large berth with an overall record of 35 and 21. Heading to the Oklahoma City bracket, the number four seed are the Generals of LSU Alexandria. The Generals were the champions of the Red River Tournament with an overall record of 33 and 14. They will face the number five seeded Coyotes of Kansas Wesleyan. The Coyotes secured an automatic berth as the tournament champions in the KCAC. The number two seed are the Lions of Freed Hardeman. The Lions were the runners up in the Mid-South tournament with an overall record of 37 and 15. They will battle the number three seeded Pioneers of Mid-American Nazarene. The Pioneers were the runners up in the Heart of America tournament with an overall record of 36 and 16. The number one seed are the Stars of Oklahoma City. The Stars were the champions of the Sooner Tournament with an overall record of 47 and four. Heading to the Santa Barbara bracket, the number two seed are the Grenadiers of Indiana Southeast. The Grenadiers were both the regular season and tournament champions of the River States with an overall record of 39 and 13. They will face the number three seeded Tigers of Olivet Nazarene. The Tigers were also the champions of both the Chicagoland regular season and tournament with an overall record of 38 and 15. The number one seed are the Warriors of Westmont. The Warriors secured an at-large berth with an overall record of 42 and 11. They will take on the number four seeded Pioneers of the University of Antelope Valley. The Pioneers were both the regular season and tournament champions of the Cal Pack with an overall record of 37 and 11. The Wolf Pack of Loyola are the number four seed in the Shreveport bracket in Shreveport, Louisiana. The Wolf Pack earned an at-large berth with an overall record of 33 and 22. 
They will battle the number five seeded Falcons of Fisher. The Falcons grabbed an automatic berth out of the Continental as the tournament runners up. The number two seed are the Drovers of the University of Science and Arts of Oklahoma. The Drovers earned an at-large berth with an overall record of 35 and 13. They will face the number three seeded Scots of Lyon. The Scots were the champions of the AMC tournament with an overall record of 36 and 20. The number one seed in Shreveport are the Pilots of LSU Shreveport. The Pilots were the regular season champions of the Red River with an overall record of 47 and 5. In our final bracket, the Cougars of Columbia are the number four seed in the Upland bracket in Upland, Indiana. The Cougars earned an at-large berth out of the AMC with an overall record of 38 and 12. They will battle the number five seeded Lions of Bryan. The Lions were the runners up in the Appalachian tournament. The number two seed are the Racers of Northwestern Ohio. The Racers were both the Wolverine Hoosier regular season and tournament champions with an overall record of 37 and 12. They will face the number three seeded Trojans of Taylor. The Trojans were the champions of the Crossroads Tournament with an overall record of 40 and 16. The number one seed in Upland are the Fire of Southeastern. The Fire were the tournament champions of the Sun Conference with an overall record of 51 and three. Let's take one more look at the championship field. The 65th Annual NAI Baseball National Championship gets started on May 16th at 10 opening round sites throughout the nation, culminating with the Avista NAI Baseball World Series beginning on May 27th at Harris Field in Lewiston, Idaho. Catch all the action in the World Series on the NAI Network and both the semifinals and championship on ESPN3. Thanks for watching and good luck to all of our qualifiers.